This task will be a review of the data commonly stored in the vector and raster data models. So we'll explore the Lab 1 data and answer some questions about it. So let's start by looking at several raster data sets. So here I've got QGIS desktop open and I've got the 35106-V4 digital elevation model open. So this raster is considered a continuous raster, meaning cell values vary continuously to form a surface. In this case, each cell value represents the elevation above sea level in meters. So let's add another raster from the Lab 1 data. I'll click the Add Raster Data button, and I'll add this GeoTIFF image. Click Open. Let me right-click on it and choose Zoom to Layer so we have a better look at it. This is a multi-band raster image with red and green light combined with color infrared to create a false color image. If I wanted to know the pixel resolution of this data set, I would double click on it to bring up layer properties. I can go to the metadata tab and in this properties window at the bottom I'll scroll down and I'll see the pixel size is 1 to 1. Now I just need to know what the coordinate units are in. I'll go to the general tab and I'll see that this is in UTM. So the Units would be in meters, so this is a one meter resolution image. Let me close this and we'll add another raster. I'm going to add this land fire image. This raster data set represents existing vegetation types. So it's considered a categorical raster, meaning that the data being represented have discrete boundaries with attributes that are descriptions, classes, or categories. In this case, each cell value represents a different vegetation type. Now I'll review some of the vector data with Lab 1. I'll use the Add Vector Data button, browse to the Lab 1 data, and I'll add the road and trail data sets. Let me just turn off these rasters so we can see these better. And I'll give the roads a different color so that we can distinguish them on the screen. Give them a black line color. So if I wanted to know the coordinate reference system for the roads layer, I would open up the layer properties for it, go to the general tab, and I'll see that this is in UTM zone 13 NAT 83, which has an EPSG code of 26913. If I wanted to know the number of features in this layer, I would switch to the metadata tab, and I'll get the file format. I see that it's an Esri shape file, and the number of features is 6,324. So for any vector layer, you can always go to the metadata tab and determine the number of features, the file format, the spatial reference, and other characteristics of the data set. In the next task, you'll review some GIS data file formats.